Why, why did the entrance of this show sound like the start of a Chinese gong show show? Hey, welcome, no, welcome back to you, the... <laughs> you didn't change the tone at all. It's just... Bow, bow. You didn't go... Dun, dun, dun. There's a... Dun, dun, dun. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's like... Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, welcome, dun, dun. welcome dun, to the Born dun, Stupid dun. Show. Well, yeah. We're back. <laughs> that was awful. Yeah. Hey, fuck you. You try it next time. <laughs> oh, I know I can't yeah. do it. <laughs> I still don't know our intro. And John's like, what is going on right now? <laughs> we didn't have nobody in the background going... I, 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 I nailed it. We're having to play this through a phone. I already played it. Our audio's down. <laughs> All right. It's December 14th. <laughs> 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 it's not. No. This is, is this our first show of the new year? No. We no. Know. Dude, it's, it's, it's the first episode of, of February. February. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in the love month. Oh, yeah. Happy first What's of it? February. It's the first of the month. Wake up. Oh, wake up. It's February first of the month, but yes, it is. It is. Uh, it is the love month, Ooh, right? Yeah. Valentine, Cupid Day. We have no up. audio coming playing but out of the computer, so that's why we, I did the. Yes, <laughs> we we literally have an audio guy that can't figure out the audio. Well, we got audio. Wow, fucking night. We got audio like. inputting for recording, but yeah. the computer's not playing anything out. Oh, blame it on the. So computer. I don't know if it's the computer or if it's the audio. System I'm gonna here. blame the engineer. If I had more more time to troubleshoot, I would uh, reprogram some stuff. But we took an update. Yeah. It's already nine thirty three at night, and yeah. I got to work tomorrow. It'll be midnight before. Yeah, it's done I don't feel like Ross is also two bottles deep into the wine, and now one he's bottle on a, deep. One now, bottle deep. Now he's into the tenacious D's. I'm in the. In the I'm, <laughs> I'm taking in the D. <laughs> Ew. Sunny D. Don't do it. You took in the D. You took in the D last week. <laughs> you took. It. I didn't like it. <laughs> you loved it. No, I didn't. <laughs> you it did was, like it. It was okay, but you, no, I didn't we'll like it. We'll play it back. Well, we can't play it back. <laughs> he, he didn't stop halfway through. No, he no, finished I it. Fin- I, he I took it all. Finish whatever I'm taking. <laughs> he, I think he finished first. <laughs> he did. I'm, I know he did. Actually. He's, he's, oh Lord. <laughs> yep. He savored the flavor. <laughs> he finished first. A little favor slaver. Well, Ross has got two right now, so he can double fist the D. Yeah. Whatever. Ugh. It works on his tennis elbow. <laughs> you gotta. My strip. tennis elbow has actually been pretty good lately. Has it? I, th- I don't think it's internal. I think it's external. You haven't played <laughs> even though the tennis. external is stored. Because like if I so press, if I the problems press, on the skin, the force, the forward skin, the forward. Like if right I next pre- to your weenus? If I press on it, it hurts when I touch it. When I press on it, That's and then I remember. Yeah. Well, no, I remember I banged it on something. Ooh. Like real, hard. I banged it hard. That's hardcore, man. So yeah. I, think, I think this might be like a, a deep contusion. A contusion. I don't know. Is that a tumor? I'm not a. I'm not a. Just stop playing tennis. I'm not a proctologist. I don't know. Well, yeah. you know, if you won't have a tennis elbow, I ain't no guy in a call just, but I'll take a look. <laughs> but you, At his elbow. You know how we. You know how we just. A crease is a crease. <laughs> you know how we just. We both just made this joke right here. Yeah. Like, we're saying we're something that has nothing to do with what yeah. was broadcasted. Like, I ain't no veterinarian. We're talking about my elbow. And what are you we're, talking about? I ain't no veterinarian. We're ta- I'm talking about my elbow, and I said I'm not a proctologist, and he said he's not a gynecologist, and none of those touched the elbow. I ain't a veterinarian either, but I know a horse's ass when I smell one. I made one. a joke on Facebook. Oh, and I'm sure somebody go. was offended. Nobody on Facebook got the joke. Nobody laughed at it? Like, good old Dave Callahan posted, like, some... Stupid inspirational quote. Danger Dave. He's a dad now, so he does dad things. Sorry, John. But yeah, we do. It changes yeah. you, I guess. It was like one of those I've like heard. lose small big or lose small win small lose big win big uh, something what? like that. And I, I just call him in it. Thanks, Aristotle. Well, I know uh, Apostles Lee. Oh, it's yeah. from uh, the Patriot, but it's like miss small or aim small miss small. But it was about or, winning and losing. I know, but he's probably but Aristotle it's, is a it's, philosopher. It's, He's a great philosopher. <laughs> Apparently, he's not. He's not a philosopher. He's a mathematician. Yeah. Oh. But that was the joke. Oh. <laughs> so, I, so I said, I said, thanks, Aristotle. I was the only person who commented on it. 
And then his brother Bill. I couldn't spell Aristotle. Aristotle wasn't philosopher, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, no shit. That's why it fun. And then some people just started piling on. Just like <laughs> then Tom. one guy was like, I bet you regret saying what you said. I'm like, no, no regret. Actually, I, I said, no, I don't. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I put. No <laughs> I'm like, no regrets. you people have like no sense of no humor. No regrets. I Joy, said that you, for a reason. <laughs> they don't recognize it. They don't, they don't find my humor. Well, humor those humorous. people also too are uptight people, probably. They're that assholes. Just, They're all tight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just doesn't see the humor in it, no. man. No, but I think it's from the Patriot though. When he's teaching his kids how to shoot, and it was like, uh, something you know, about I'm, the aiming. Have I ever seen the Patriot? Mm, I don't know if I've ever seen Maybe <laughs> it's with Mel Gibson. Oh, I know, I know the it, yeah. Patriot. I thought you were talking about the Patriot. Yeah, remember like, he's teaching his kids how to uh, f- talking about when they were going to attack the fucking the Redcoats. I don't remember. I just remember he was yeah one of the like aim small, miss small, or something like that. Yeah. And I think his his aim small, miss big makes sense. No. Aim big, miss small. I don't know. No. It was like if you aim for bigger stuff, yeah. you got a better shot of hitting it. If you aim for something small, you got a less shot of hitting it. Right? I don't know. Yeah. Let's read this here. I'm looking for it. Dude, I have not seen the... Lose big, lose small. Win small, win big. Trust the process. What was it What was it again? Lose big, lose small. Win small, win big. Trust the process. Thanks, Nostradamus. And I replied, thanks, Nostradamus. Oh, you said Aristotle. Nostradamus was a predictor. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he predicted everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah Aristotle's a different so, guy. So uh, Bill replied, Nostradamus wasn't a philosopher, dipshit. And I did the whole uh, Dr. Brule. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to set sail? Yeah. And then Kip replied, Nostradamus. <laughs> 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 and then someone I don't know was like, oh, this room is different. And then uh, Phil was like, I think you meant thanks, Aristotle. I'm like, I said what I said. No regrets. <laughs> it was like, n- none? I'm like, none! <laughs> but I'm like, you people don't like understand. Yeah, don't you it, understand it, this is humor? Yes. It's called satire. <laughs> satire. Yes, well, it's the same it, sheets I have on my back. I satire did, I sheets. Did. I took that as they're being funny, too, though. Hey, my sister got her cat cremated. Oh. How old was she? Uh, his cat, Her cat was younger than all my cats. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was like seven or eight. Oh, it was a boy cat. Yeah, big okay. boy. His name is Big Boy. Well, look at there. Named yeah. after the uh, uh, outcast guy, Big Boy? Uh, that was the cat that when she moved in, and I was at your house. I think we were celebrating your wedding thing. You know, when we that had was the, a long time yes. ago. Yes. Your wedding thing. She sent me a text like, I want to get a cat. I'm like, I don't need another animal in my house. And you ended and up And then with before it. I left your house, she sent me a picture of a cat. In my house. You want to give her another one back? Scarlett Joe Katzen? Speaking of your, nah. speaking of family, though, did we talk about when your dad's car w- yeah. was... Yeah, ma- talked about that like around yeah. Christmas. Yeah, and then he yeah. brought up that I drove it, and I'm like, yeah. oh, God. Yeah, so it hasn't run the same since you drove it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, uh, you were supposed uh, to know shit. about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm, okay, we talked about <laughs> that. That was like, how old is your daughter? She's seven. That was eight years ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's got a memory, man. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. even there for it. He may be old, but I he's still all there in the head. Like, God, man, he's fucking. For that. I was like, I, I treated her. Res- I was treated. I treated her with respect. <laughs> <laughs> I did not speed. No, and you drove like a half a mile. I, I made sure I took care of it. I was like, wh- and I literally told John, I was like, whatever you do, don't be seen driving this car. I was like, here. my dad loves this car, and he doesn't like. He won't let my like, my brother or my sister borrow it. Like when my brother's truck broke down, he was like, "Hey, can I borrow your Mustang?" My dad's like, "No, oh, no." <laughs> no. <laughs> but the golden child <laughs> yeah. had that shit for a week when my alternator went bad and it was getting rebuilt. <laughs> I was like, "Whatever you do, John." I think we talked about this on the podcast like eight years ago. <laughs> I think so. We've talked like, about it for sure. Whatever you do, John, don't be fucking seen driving this car. <laughs> oh, so he, he wasn't. He doesn't know that he drove. Well, he knows. He knows because he listens to the podcast. Oh. So when we talked about it on the podcast, <laughs> he knew then. <laughs> oh, what a way to find yeah. out. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. I didn't, does yeah. he still listen to the podcast? Dude, what's that I one so. song? Oh, cool. uh, your dad used to sing this song at the end zone, and every time I hear it on Stroking. the radio. I, every time I hear it, I think of your dad singing uh, it at the end zone. Oh, well, him and Ray. Used to do that. Stroking, yeah. They used to do uh, 
Are they, well, yeah, I thought they did that, or they know that. They call him the streak. Well, no, here yeah, he comes, no, coming no, no, on no. through There's, the boogity boogity. I don't know. Oh, damn. I'm telling you. I know. They, uh, it's saying now. The like Love Black, Shack, baby. Black, uh, I think you were on to it. Uh, Black Dog or something like that? Or, or maybe. Yeah, Black it was. Dog. It, he killed hey, it, though. Mom, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Black yeah. Dog is Big King always, always killed that, dude. Black Hog. Yes. Every time I hear that, I like my my brain goes back to your dad singing karaoke at the end zone. They need karaoke to bring that back. Shit back in the day, right? I remember that was cool. Oh my I've God. only been to the new uh, new end zone once. We sat outside that time. I've been to the new end zone twice. Okay, see. <laughs> <laughs> That time, and then we went there for a draft, but it ended up being just like us because oh. no one else showed up. <laughs> we went to the new end zone, like when they first moved over, and we were doing karaoke. Oh. And we sang Jamie Johnson talking about uh, uh, smoking uh, weed or doing cocaine. My life, life <laughs> just the same old thing. And, and oh, my Lord, these kids, right. these kids. Everybody's in there eating wings. It's family <laughs> night. And we're like, and the and we tra- like look. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We traded that for cocaine and <laughs> ore. <laughs> and it's like 5.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like, like this that is Instagram nice. video I sent y'all of the uh. DJ at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Because you know how I'm they, gonna come. Yeah. How, <laughs> they, how they insert like clips is like. Don't it, come. It was like Kamala. Like don't come. Don't come. Don't come. <laughs> then Trump. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was great though. It's like we're singing songs that you normally yeah. wouldn't hear, but I'm like, why is it on there then? The high you know? cost of living. He's like, I call- it's on there for profiles. Everybody's giving us fucking Kinda dirty like looks. We went to the uh, uh, Winter Circle for lunch the other day, and they got an iTunes Touch oh, Play yeah. in there, right? The one, on the, the one on the south side or the one on the north south side? side? I don't think north side's been there for years, have they? At the hotel right there off yeah, the floor? Yeah, I don't think it's been there, is it? That was a long I know, time we ago. went to the south side one once. For, for his bachelor wedding, party, yeah. And then we went to the north side one once. I think we went with Nick and Rachel. Yeah. I don't think that one's been there for a few years. It was literally just us in there. Yeah, that's why it's no <laughs> it longer It was in the hotel, there. like, freaking lobby. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Well, you there. Yeah. That you poolside view next to the interstate. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> but yes, uh, we went there, and anyway, <laughs> there was that older couple, like seventy years old, up there drinking their oh, beer yeah. at lunch and eating their wings. That's where I want to be when I grow up. Oh, fucking da- Daryl! Yeah, fucking Daryl puts on Rich Baby Daddy. You know Rich Baby Daddy? I don't know Rich Baby Daddy. Bend over, hands on your knees. Bend over, bitch. Let that coochie breathe. Oh, Let that coochie Christ. breathe. Let that coochie oh, breathe. Then the old people are like, what in tarnation? Yes. I'm just trying 100%. to enjoy my beer. Yes. And there was two painters in there. There were six, no, seven total people in there. And old people are like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? I'm trying to drink my beers and eat my fucking wings. They got popped that coochie on. So they, great, they turned it off, man. Well, There's nothing better than hijacking the touch. But we switched from that to yes. uh, what Hardy? We went next to Hardy. We went to kill shit. Yeah. What Cause I'm it? a kill shit. Die! Die! Was Die! Kind of like, yeah. What was, it was the, fun. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other rap song that uh, she played? Uh, he, it was Lizzo. Why well, I me and Greg got it to be great. What? I just took a, <laughs> yeah. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm on a percent that bitch. Okay. That's Is that Hardy? Lizzo. <laughs> no. But the after a couple <laughs> songs, I, apparently ju- I don't listen to the radio. The fucking enough. the the jukebox got well, turned off. Like, the old guy put his beard great. down and went and unplugged that bitch. <laughs> yeah. The owner said no. Nope. I'm on vacation from New England. I don't want to <laughs> listen to this shit. I guess it's good I don't listen to the radio anymore. Yeah. Like, when y'all had me play Hardy uh, at his wedding, I'm like, what in the fuck am I listening to? He's not to? on the radio either. That's the cool part about it. They don't want to play him. Well, good, because his music sucked. Fuck you. <laughs> you bad. suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. John sucks. No, you Winners. suck. <laughs> No, you you suck. Suck. No, you yeah. He's literally looking at me with both of his hands like <laughs> yeah. hanging down. Now, like, cold, now, man. You now, suck. No, you suck. <laughs> now I understand where your son gets his trash talk game from. <laughs> you su- no, no. You, you're Dunk Donut. Yeah, where's, yeah. My yeah. Yeah, where's my juice? Where's my juice? No, your mom. Hey, my mom out of this, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're right. Your mom. <laughs> yeah, your your mom. fucking mom. Your mom yeah. give you any meat lately? No. <laughs> 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 Joke's on you. She gave you fudge, though, yeah. didn't she? Joke's on you. Oh, fuck no. I ain't, I ain't that shit. John's so petty, he looks at his son and goes, Joke's on you. I fucked your mom. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I got you good, oh, fucker. 
It's all it's funny too. He did though. That's <laughs> how Cam was born. <laughs> no, well, that's how he was born. Say that to him. <laughs> he was losing against the four-year-old, and he freaking that's he had to throw that in there. He's not four yet. Well, okay, he's not. His kid is no. After he not he that. he ain't four yet. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he's only. He's yeah. learned to talk like last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like corn? <laughs> for a while, he was into some corn for sure. Grunting and corn. Uh, that's uh, 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 corn. Yeah. <laughs> Little Hawk. Yeah, he's pretty damn funny. <sighs> yeah, man. That up. was another kid that looked like me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kinda, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of kids that were around that within our inner circle. What do you, like well, what's in the Were water, you the spermicidal <laughs> lube inside the candles? One of my brother's kids look like me. John's kid. One of John's kids look like me. Did you use a tampon? I don't know, man. And leave it in their Nothing bathroom. I'm aware of. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he he skied it all over a tampon Tampin. and resealed Jesus. it. Yeah. So whenever she opened it, stuck vacuum it in there. sealed it. Oh, got oh. her. I got wow. you good. And, it, and, it, and it's in there for Dude, a that's while, a of, too, that's a hell of you know? a fucking technique there. <laughs> it is a technique. Oh, damn. Oh, John's onto well, something. Well, Dude, the reason that's the shit you watch on Instagram, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You thought, you thought the girls were dirty, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah, well, I got uh, damn. Girls set people Trifling. up. Oh, no. Yeah. Five. And then you reseal it so that it doesn't. the air doesn't, like, kill it. It yeah. preserves it. No, I got to lock her down, man. I was like one of my brother's kids, man. For like, the longest time. You're not allowed to like, come over to his with, house. No they're like. joke. Like, I never would, we would go like to parties and all that. Or like, God damn, man. Why does your kid look like your brother? <laughs> uncle Ross, man. Ross like, is on to him, man. Yeah. He's a good uncle, Semen man. dip tampons, yeah. and then he heat shrinks it back closed. He shrinks it. He's even got the gun he, for it. Yeah, he's he's got his little... You, you, you laugh about that. RJ-45 crumpers in there. My him. brother... Did that to my dad, not with the tampon. What? <laughs> what? Like, whoa! What? So your brother bro- could be your No, dad. my brother what? would tell you. He did uh, what? My mom every night. My mom would make my dad's lunch, a sandwich, and like a <laughs> snack cake, and have it in the fridge. Yeah. My brother one night opened this. This is like when we were adults. Opened like the fudge round, took a bite out of it, and melted the, <laughs> the package back closed. Yeah, fucking be yeah. bad. As yeah. <laughs> no, this is like when he was like in his mid mid yeah, upper twenties. Yeah. 20s. yeah. <laughs> like, and my dad gets to work. He eats a sandwich. <laughs> He opens up his fucking fudge round. There's a fudge round with a fucking bite taken out of it. It, 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 was, like, it was perfectly sealed back well, up. You, it's got you questioning everything. Yeah, he, he had what a fucking fudge fuck? round. With what a was fucking, in that sandwich? Yeah, yeah with a bite taken out of it. But I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, God. Like, I'm fucked so, up. So... Seeing how authentic it looked, my brother sealed that bitch back up. I can see how someone could skeet on tampons and put yeah. that shit back tampons. on. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a skeet on a maxi pad kind of guy. I figured, you like. Have, you got more area to fill? I figured that you would just take condoms and turn them back inside out and put them back in the wrapper. Yes. Double use. Used. <laughs> Double usage. Pre-lubed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you could do Maybe that, Maybe crusty too. at first, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the tampon's in there for long term. Oh, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's you're, in there for hours. You're, you're like there. soaking it. It's like yeah. a pickle in juice. Think about it. Just like when you it. stick a cucumber in juice and it pickles itself. <laughs> Actually, That's how the pickle's born. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I meant to send it to y'all. It was a meme this week I saw. I meant to send it. It said the worst decision of my life. And it was an embryo or an egg with the sperm <laughs> trying to pen- like penetrate <laughs> right. in it. And it said the worst decision of my life. <laughs> it was oh, me yeah. going in there. And <laughs> yeah, it couldn't be that bad. Not uh, for some people, probably. I don't know, man. Some people wish they were never born. And you being born is your decision. You're well, the one well, that, you know what? You're the one that made I'm it. I'm sure there's you know some. What's, you know what the weirdest part in all this is? At some point, you were swimming around in your dad's ball sack. God damn, man. Exactly. I think it's just weird that you're inside your mom's stomach. Right? Like, and you're just cooking in there well, you're not you get big enough. You're not necessarily in her stomach. You're in her uterus. Well, you know what I'm saying, though. He might as well be in her stomach. Well, and you came out somewhere else. Like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> like, you think about the whole, how old the thing is. You're swimming around in a pool of other fucking stuff. And like, even I'm the winner. Even I the, won one race in my next life. Next you know, you're forcing yourself down a hallway. Then you, daylight, and a bunch of people fucking looking at you. Like, what in the hell just happened? Even like Whoa. birds and reptiles laying eggs. Like, that's just fucking weird. It is weird. Like, in fish, they fucking... They spray spray their eggs on Here something. Comes and then Here comes dad. Here comes dad. Just skeeting all over everything. Skeeting all over it. Like <laughs> the original crop duster. Yeah. yeah I guess that to me There's makes more duster. sense. That to cra- me yeah, makes more sense duster. than something growing in you. Drive by skeeting. Yeah. No. Oh, that's, like some a- that's some alien shit, man. It is some alien shit. Alien shit. Alien. It's just crazy that like you have like we looked it up. It's like a million like sperm cells like in every like ejaculate load. You and only 
Yes, you can look it up. Me, I, no, you said you already did look it up. I, it's it's why you something Googling high like shit, that. Man? Because we're trying to get pregnant. Why do we why? need that many? Because I want a kid. That's, that's why. terrible. That's a terrible life decision, man. No, if ain't. You, hey, if mine works, so if you need some. No. I'm just saying. No. If you, if you have and a Google problem. it doesn't increase your odds. <laughs> mine works, too. We just haven't, been, <laughs> mine works too. We just haven't tried like that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If yours aren't, aren't good, uh, mine are good. Oh, yeah. That's what I want is another one of you fucking. <laughs> Run around my house. <laughs> you get to deal with me on a daily. Fuck. Well, how lucky. You go home what a lucky be another guy. little guy what a lucky or girl. Guy. Motherfucker come out with a ponytail. Mm-hmm. Fucking days old. He comes more. out. <laughs> <laughs> comes out. He doesn't come out crying. He comes out. <laughs> Got any nooners? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> it's cold in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's cold in here, man. You cut this umbilical cord, man. It's holding me back. It doesn't hold me da- back. This side can't hold me down. No, nope. yeah. try to rope me in. Nah. I'm literally cut the cord. Yeah. cut the cord, man. <laughs> I can survive. I don't need nothing in this life. Uh, I don't need nothing. <laughs> Let me get that titty. I just need that titty, mom. <laughs> try to talk Danielle into another one. She'll probably be like, no, no. If I had your kids, I wouldn't want another one either. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, you don't like anybody's kids. No, I don't, I don't like, kids like nobody, general. man. No. Why do you put up with us? We're like babysitting. Oh, man. Yeah. We've literally been told by you we're but the effing take Y'all, y'all can take y'all's word. ass home, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. My kid's already at yeah, home. Yeah, John said that in your wedding. He, ah. he lumped me into his best man speech. Speech. I he's did. just rambling on. He's like, "Yeah, Ross told us we're the fucking worst." <laughs> I'm like, "What are you gonna do with this, man?" John's dropping f bombs and well, shit. I, the best man but I think speech. he's I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like that. But I it think was he's just wrong. random thoughts by John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, my I, dude, I, I didn't ask quick. for anything. They just want everybody to come have a good time. So that's what we're gonna fucking do. We're all gonna have a good fucking time. <laughs> Ross Let's get the fuck up. Ross says we're the worst, go. but he's wrong. He's but he, <laughs> he, he, but he's wrong. Man, <laughs> I'm the fucking worst. Yeah, this my this guy is my best friend. I feel like you're stealing him. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> but kind of. <laughs> oh, I felt yeah. it might have been more together. <laughs> no, that's about that's about pretty but, accurate. But you said fuck, you said fuck about twenty eight times. Yeah, yeah. We're, it was like, we're you gonna guys have are the fucking time. best man. We're gonna yeah. have the best yeah. fucking time. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a good fucking time. So get the fuck up. Yep. Good Let's fucking go. Then Daryl started rapping. Yep. Yep. Good fucking time. Like good. that was a, it was a good fucking time. <laughs> it was a great time. I had a fucking blast. I had a Jeep in the bed of my truck. I was fucking fucking yep. feeling great. I I woke up like at six fifteen the next morning. Ooh. Even though I didn't have this little asshole right here trying to wake me up, six fifteen came. I never uh-huh. even took I didn't even wore the clothes I packed. Yeah, John comes down the parking lot <laughs> and I'm in the, I'm rolling around the bed of my truck trying to find half my tonneau cover that we took off whenever we put the Jeep back there. Yeah. So I had to fucking uh, ratchet strap that bitch down mm. for the drive home. Oh yeah, that's right. John's like, we got you, you. Someone steal the Jeep, man. You had the Jeep in your truck. I'm like, John, the Jeep is in your Jeep. <laughs> Jeep's what? In the Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we took the Jeep out of my truck and put it in your Jeep. Oh okay. Uh, the, the are you still in your your suit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was like, did you sleep in that? And then Danielle just starts laughing. Like, yeah, I guess he slept in it last night. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck, why do I need to change for yep. it? Right? If you're tired, you're tired. Yep. I might have took my shirt off. But I put it right back on. I would have took the jeans off. <sighs> when I took my jeans off, I was Smurf blue. The, the <laughs> dye. I didn't wash them first. Me neither. Oh, my gosh. I, like, literally, I washed with a wa- white wash rag. Like, I don't see how people blue. sleep in jeans or socks. No. Well, when you drink enough, it doesn't matter. Like, you see people just, like, when they get home, like, <laughs> they just hang out. That ass. Like, when You're they just awesome hang out at home in jeans. No, I only wear jeans if I'm out. I can't sit on the couch, watch TV in jeans. I can't lay in bed in fucking jeans. <laughs> yeah, well, the jeans just wear me out they when are, I'm watching man. TV. Jeans are so restrictive, man. Yeah, they just chafe my inner thigh when I'm watching <laughs> TV. <laughs> Get them fucking jeans on, How can I play with my balls with yeah. these jeans on? Yeah, fuck jeans, man. 
in those jeans. <laughs> I've never heard that. I can't yep. watch TV in jeans. <laughs> I just can't <laughs> like, do it. Okay, yeah. like, I get it. Like, if you can't, like, work out in jeans or jog, <laughs> I can't watch TV in jeans. It's a deal breaker. <laughs> it's like people who get home and don't take their shoes off and just stay in their house with their shoes on. And? Who sits in their house with shoes on? Me. That's one of the first. That's one of the first things I do when I oh, get yeah. home. Oh yeah, first thing off. I do when I get home, I go to my room. And you put kick them right in my what I do is I come in the garage, let the dogs out. You come Which in the corner? garage. <laughs> <laughs> Which corner? <laughs> <laughs> I come in through the garage, let the dogs out. The first thing I do is go in my bedroom, get changed. So that's uh, code word to. He rubs one off, takes a shit. That's letting the dogs out. Takes a shit. I don't shit at home much. It's mostly oh, yeah, at work. We talked about that. Mo. Yeah. You like to get paid to poop. Yeah, man. I, got on, I get shit. I shit on somebody else's time. I refuse to clog my own septic. <laughs> Why do I go to work? I've been here for 13 years and never had that septic pumped. Or well, yeah, if you don't shit at home, then that you makes yeah. sense. You got one person in here, man. Yeah. There yeah, should man. be a lot of water in there. No. Yeah. My water bill is like 16 bucks a month. Yeah. You're having a party next weekend, right? Or next Thursday? Oh, let's bring I a water. Yeah, we're going to bring a water slide over. Thursday with next week or the week after? Huh? We're having a party here, right? No, we're not having a party yeah, here. Yeah, you said <laughs> Thursday. We're going to be here anyways. We're going to be watching NASCAR. Oh, that's two weeks from now. Yeah, it's, it's yeah no podcast two weeks from now because NASCAR's on. You heard it from Ross. You heard it here straight from the source. You heard it here first, folks. We'll be here, but we won't be podcasting. <coughs> we'll it's be not here, a rumor. but we won't nope. be here. I thought it was next week until Micah reminded me. Yeah. It's not. Nope, it's the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. Oh. That's so why not, I was not next week, the week after. Correct. But there is NASCAR on this weekend. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say at the beginning. It's February. It's the love month, and I love racing. And racing starts back this weekend. Yeah. Then, then you the got clash. Super Bowl, and then you got Daytona, baby. Daytona. Actually, it started back last weekend. Yes. Got racing. Racing. Racing's an all-year But NASCAR. Thing. No, they take they take a break from the end of it, November until the They big, take a uh, couple late, months off. Of you can always find racing somewhere. Yeah, they're in a, in a lot of, like, southern states there's yep. racing, racism. Yep. <laughs> you can, you As a guy who doesn't really follow racing, he knows. You can find a I, race I, anywhere. Where, where can I you find it, John? Look. Where can I find I-4. it? I-4. <laughs> yeah, there's race everywhere. There is, there is a new racetrack on I-4. What is it called? Grand You're the inside man. You tell me. Grand a new racetrack on I-4. Yeah. On I-4? You can actually see it. Oh, I, don't, I can't see. It's a vill- <laughs> It's a racing village. Oh, yeah, it's a house like thing. It's right? like, yeah, uh, before Highway 27. Yeah, I heard about There's it. like a road course there. Yeah. Going you, you, towards Orlando? Yeah, yeah, that's where towards Winter Haven. Towards making Orlando. Sure, I'm making sure I'm on the same page. Yeah, there's a, a, road, a new a road course. <laughs> you can it's, race through your neighborhood. There's a, there's a community, so you can buy uh, houses in that yeah. around the racetrack. And you can buy, you could rent a garage there. Mm-hmm. And you can race. Yep. Imagine like you're living on a golf course you're and you get a golf to... ball in your living room. Now yeah. you got the opportunity to have a race car in your living room. Right. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> like, oh, I'm trying to take a nap in here. Yeah. Vroom, and then, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, there's a car in our, uh, our fucking living Circuit room. Circuit Florida. Circuit de Florida. Circuit de Florida. Are is they? It actually, it's in Arbordale. Arbordale? That is literally, you can see it off of I-4. Well, this is cool. I have never seen this. Oh, okay, you got to have a Porsche to live there, evidently. Yeah, there's I-4 there, but you can see the road course that they're huh. building. No shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's condos there. They're um, going to be there. Condomos. It's pretty much for racers, right? Yeah. Are they going to uh, race, or or is it just only like time stuff? Ferrari. I don't know, man. You have to have a fancy car. When you got a fancy oh, car. That guy has a Mustang. That ain't fancy. That's no, membership, man. No offense, said something about a membership. Club experience. I don't want to join no fucking club. How much you got to pay? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's probably something crazy. Circuit Florida. And they have the, I think it's called like the Motor Enclave. Enclave. That's almost at the corner of I-4 and 75. Enclave. That's really not that big of a it's track, like, though, It's right? like, uh, it don't one look point, that big. it's 1.7 miles. Is that big? Yeah. And they got this median thing in the way. Well, that's the parking lot. <laughs> 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 Actually, you see the Fantasy of Flight plane right there. It's oh. literally across from Fantasy of Flight. Oh. Is that the apartments you're staying in? No, I think that's the front office. And oh. there's a garage there. But that's sketchy too, man. Someone drive into that. Oh. This website. Oh, that ain't far from my house then. It's misleading, man. It's yeah, yeah, that's over there by the Polk City area. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the little pond, the lake there, right? Fantasy of Flight. 
Oh, oh that's probably oh. Got yeah. There's a pine out there. Oh. That's probably got some good fish in there, man. Actually, I've been tubing on the lake before. Oh, oh yeah. How'd that yeah. How'd that go? Not bad. You didn't die. I want to buy a big boat. How big? Uh, how big? That, how you got a boat, John. Boat? No, I do have a boat, I but a boat. I would like a boat that can hold more people. Yeah, this one's at the corner of I-4 and 75. It's, it's, it's called the Motor Enclave. I-4 and 75? Yeah. I have not seen that. It's right uh, you know where the Tampa Executive Airport is? Right north of I-4 uh, I at 75? It's right in that area. Huh. Well. Yeah, you can literally, on this, you can literally um, you rent book. car? Yes, you could. Uh, let me see. The Motor Enclave, Tampa. You could actually rent, uh, like, set times. Like, I want to, uh... wonder how much that is. Drive. You got... You take your car, or you can drive one no, of theirs? you take, uh... Where is it at? I saw where you could literally, uh, pay to drive, like, uh, an Aston Martin, a uh, McLaren, a Porsche. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that comes with a little oh, price yeah. tag. It's for people who, like, wealthy people. Fuck yeah. That want to drive every car, but don't want to own them all. Yeah, you can, you can uh, pay to drive a car around the track for a day or whatever. That's cool. Interesting. Not my cup of tea, but, you know. It sounds pricey. Yeah. Well, there must be some money over there, then, if that's what they're doing. If that's kind of the new thing. Fuck, well, I, they, I should just build a freaking road course through my, my yard. That's yeah. Pretty much. That's what it is. But you need more yard. I have a quarter mile. I got a bull ring. Uh, you need, uh, yeah. You I, could, I could put an Arbondale size speedway in my yard. Your HOA might not approve. Fuck my HOA. Yeah. My HOA dues are due. My month. HOA literally sent out a letter this week from the their board meeting talking about we're not allowed to have roosters in the fucking. Uh oh, I just lost my ring again. A second time. Oh, this damn. Week. You got to be careful. But, um, yeah, they sent out a letter this week talking about not allowed to have roosters in the neighborhood, and they know that there is two. And this guy used to work for the DOD back in the day, and that he can find them if he needs to, but he's not really interested. So, what's the DOD? Please, I don't know. Department of Defense. Yes. Oh. So, uh, so either uh, give your roosters away or bring them over for dinner is exactly what the fucking email said. You can't change bylaws. Did people, did HOA, the members vote on it? I, I don't know. It's probably in the covenant that you can't have cocks screaming. It's in the Geneva Convention. It says right? no screaming cocks. Because if it's not something that's already that was already in the bylaws. Keep it down, man. Like, like the the actual. Yeah. I'm having a brain fart here. The masses of your neighborhood. The residents of your neighborhood have to vote on it. The resident evil. Like one year, uh, my HOA sent a thing out saying, we're up in the dues, it's going from this to this. And then like a week later, disregard that, uh, <laughs> the previous thing. Because I guess someone said something, you just can't raise our dues. It has to be voted on by the membership. Just can't raise our dues, yep. not our mountains. Y'all can, that's cute. Y'all drinking at the same time now or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, at me, look at me out of my eyes and, laugh, and like smile. I'm like, get away from I didn't freak. mean to drink you at freak. the same time that you drank. He just called me out, man. Fuck you it. know what I'm saying? Oh, look at here. Look again. <laughs> Pinky's up and everything. Oh, if his mouth, his oh mouth, if his mouth's full, so is mine. I'm trying to throw him off, man. Mm -hmm. You have a major way to use them or do next month. Yeah, mine are coming up here in the next month or two. I got to do my taxes. This be it. I didn't mind. Actually, uh, you on pay the IRS him? website, it says I'll be getting my deposit on the 5th. You're getting something back? I'm getting $1,895 back. How? Because I have the max taxes taken out. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. That's yeah. what I do, too. Just so there's no chance that I ever have to pay and all that. People are like, well, you're giving the government a free loan. Okay, Whatever. cool. I get that money back, and then I just rather if I, if I want to pay a bill with it, if I want to yeah. pay some debt off, if I want to do a it's project. It's for savings, yeah. Yeah, You're like well, you can just if you don't if you don't uh, have them take all those taxes, you can save that money throughout the year. No, what's I the won't. difference? I won't save that money yeah. throughout the year. I'll buy it on more tenacious. <laughs> if that deed. money's in my paycheck, then I'll spend it on something. True. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I usually get about but two grand back every year. I got to uh, I got to put it in there to see if it's better to file married. Filing separately, Usually it's married, filing, filing separately. jointly. We, f I think we do the the married, but it's, uh, I think it's taken out as if we're s single. That's what I'm saying. Right. 
I don't so, know that, that makes works. no sense. Married, filing. No, they file marry, but it's like we're single. They they, yeah. t- they take the most out that they can, like 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 you do. Oh, that's all about what you put on your W four form. Yeah. yeah, you're having them taking more out. It doesn't that doesn't have nothing to do with your tax return though. Filing oh, I, separate but having kids the helps, way. and yeah, you get your was it six grand right, a kid? Or? Bullshit to, anyway that we even got to pay taxes in the first place. But I really never changed anything on how I file. Yeah, that has nothing Other to do. than I just yeah. d- I just put we're married, and then they when we put everything, it's all together. Mm-hmm. Except I know people who are married that do it separately. Right. And one of them Yeah, claims they're usually the called cheaters. <laughs> if they're married doing it separately. Oh, but yeah. Apparently, they, they get more money back if they file separately than... Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yep. 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 Cool, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool, man? Yep. Uh, yep. Wow, that hit a fucking wall in a hurry, huh? Yeah, that was yeah, crazy. Yeah, talk about something. Oh, let me grab John some chips here. This will get the party his started. His old man chips. They're not completely his old man. His dad felt, felt guilty because he hasn't made his fucking Dagwoods in a month. Yeah, that doesn't make up for a Dagwood. So he gave John chips where John ate the entire bag himself. Yes. Sour cream. <laughs> you know what's funny? He doesn't even like onions. He gets fucking, oh, fucking yeah. mad about onions. But these don't taste like onions. It doesn't matter. I taste, I taste 100% you onions. You get fucking fighting mad over onions, but you tore them chips up. See? It's all in your brain. I taste nothing but onion when I eat I this. do, too. They're like Funyuns. I, would... taste, I taste sour cream. But the bag was Sour like, cream has no taste. Yeah. Like right here. Sour cream is like all eating air. water. Lay's is like one of the worst on the bag. And so is Dorito's. You're one of bag. the worst. They're all bad. Like, why do they do that, man? man. To get your money. That's fucking, all. let me get a full well, bag of chips, well, not a fucking bag of air. If you look at it. You're a bag of air. The bag is labeled <laughs> by the weight. By the weight? It says it has we'll Make a fucking smaller bag then. I'm talking about it, do. It, or, or they can't because the label, there's too much fucking bullshit in it. Or they got to put on the bag. Got Roba 5 and 2000 yellow green. Maybe they they know they have, have, have to have a certain amount of air in it to preserve it. Maybe, but we're letting it out as soon as we fucking open it. Yeah, but also <laughs> you eat it within 30 minutes of opening it. And why, do, why is, as soon as you want to close it up, you want to make sure you get all the air out? That's a good point. Like, <laughs> fuck, I mean. Maybe they put certain gases in there to preserve them. Like they load it up full of like ammonium nitrate or something. That's scary. That's what I'm saying. That's scary, man. I think I'm going straight organic chips from now on. Straight. Don't organic. bring them over here, man. Bring your fucking. I'll, I'll try dirt them. chips. Yeah, over like here. your like your fucking off-brand, 100 percent vegetable. Uh, vegetable. I've gotten veggie. Uh, they're, veggie they're sticks and veggie, no, veggie, they were 100 percent veggie chips. Yeah, they were 100 percent veggie off-brand Pringles. Kettle. They were kettle kip uh, chips. Kettle too. kip chips. Kettle kip chips. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I saw those that over, over uh, a few weekends ago. I'm like, those are off-brand fucking 100 percent vegetable. Fucking. Anybody want a carrot chip? Uh, they got kale chips and stuff and uh, cauliflower. Does it grow in the wild? Can. A chip grows in the wild. Well, no. The, the, so therefore, the, the it's not organic. The Does veg- it come with free tampons? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but For Ross to come in. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Ross could <laughs> dip a skeet in it. Hmm. Fucking... 100% vegetable Pringles. Well, Look my thing here. is, if it doesn't grow naturally in the wild, it ain't organic. <laughs> like, no, but the, the organic Meatloaf is not the organic. Ca- the cauliflower might have been organic. It's fucking gross. Cauliflower, I could, okay, I'll give that I'll give that an organic. You know, that could have been organic, like but when, then they just turned it into a chip, so they processed like it. Like when Danielle well, posted the, organic. the 100%. Man, man infused. When Danielle posted the 100% organic fruit by the foots... That Snapchat. is not organic. It looked fucking gross. It looked like they, she took a bunch <laughs> of vegetables and fucking pounded them the with kids. her fist and then cut them into a foot length and rolled them up. It looked fucking... You, do you like regular Jello or the fucking lumpy, fruity Jello? Neither one. If I'm going to eat the Jello, I want the smooth Jello. Yeah. 
I have these kids, too. I don't lump, need to eat jello. These were lumpy-ass fruit by the foot, dude. It's like the diamonds. I want that bitch clear. It looked fucking gross. Hmm. But <laughs> the kids basically boycotted the gummies that she was buying. Yeah, because they're not fucking real. They're fucking She'd put gross these, shit. These organic, I assume like, she got them from the Amazon store that well, they go to. She 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 gets that, but uh, she or she goes to some other store. Like their Amazon return thing they go to, <laughs> Ben Hub. No, or she don't get them from there. But uh, she wanted she gets a grocery list, and so she got some organic gummies or whatever. And both kids were like, "No, we're not eating." <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. give us <laughs> the good shit. And then, so now they're like, "Let me go to the grocery store you with you, what? so I can get Get's the gummies the I want." One. So I hate children, <laughs> but by what you just said right there, you know your kids. I'm starting to warm up to your children. They're starting <laughs> yeah. to come back. To they're boycotting. Yeah. They're boycotting everything. Like I hate uh, kids, uh-uh. but I hate your kids a little less uh-uh. than the rest of them kids. We had a. Uh, <laughs> I respect that. Spaghetti and meatballs, and Cameron's like, "Nah, I'm eating chicken nuggets." Like he didn't want no part of it. I'm fine with uh, that. I'm, I'm sp- I haven't eaten spaghetti since I moved out of my parents' house. I'm trying to think about Because my what, dad uh, made that shit fucking five nights a week oh when yeah. my mom worked. Because y'all are Italian, right? Yeah. So, like, literally the moment I moved out of their house, that I'm, the, like, I'm is, never eating that shit ever again. Is that the L-O in your last name? That's yes. the Italian? It's more of the O. At the, end of the, <laughs> the O. Yeah. So it was a Martel. Yeah. And then some long line, they went to Italy, and that's yeah. where the O came from. Yeah. Even tonight, we had a uh, salmon and uh, broccoli for dinner. With some couscous. Yeah, y'all's, y'all's dinners took... are, are pathetic whenever y'all post pictures I made of it. A... <laughs> they post pictures of this? Danielle posts on Snapchat, and John looks fucking like miserable eating his dinner whenever she posts. Except posts. for the one where she posted a whole plate, and it was just a steak. It was a steak with a single noodle of mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a whole plate. It was plate. a single shell oh. of Elvina mac I told and you, cheese. She, we, we got a cow, a cow process. We got, like, half. <laughs> so one of these steaks was, like, fucking the size of my plate, and it was, like, a couple noodles next to it. The steak to mac and cheese ratio yeah, needs was, to be 50-50, man. I know. It might have, <laughs> was it a noodles or was it asparagus? I thought, no, I I thought I think you said it was potato. One potato. Noodle. Oh, it was uh, potato slices. Yeah. To One me, slice. To me, it, it was a couple. Like, it was yeah, a couple. to me, it looked like a single shell of Velveeta, but he said it was, like, <laughs> it was a chunk of potato or something like that. One potato. No, that, that was a big ass steak. It was a but potato. Yeah, like, she'll post like pictures of like y'all's dinner. It's like they're not always great. Uh, a, but they're healthy. A plain it? white like fucking chicken breast with like two pieces <laughs> of broccoli. <and>, like, <laughs> But that's that's like, a why lot of times her, that? A lot of times that's her uh, meal prep for lunch. Oh, oh she, your kids are eating it too. Yeah. Didn't you, I remember you, you? You said you had asparagus and shrimp for dinner. I'm like, that's two sides, man. Yeah, that's two sides. <laughs> what's side an appetizer? Your <laughs> fucking does sides that shit for dinner, all the time, man. I'm like, <laughs> that's an appetizer. That's you do steak and shrimp, or crab legs and shrimp, yeah. or shrimp and chicken. Shrimp isn't or, the main protein. Yeah, the shrimp is a, like a, an extra <laughs> yeah, it's flavor. A side. Even it's a John Long Silver's it's shrimp and chicken <laughs> plates. To me, like shrimp's almost like a seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. so tiny. It yeah. complements yeah, whatever you're eating. some jumbo shrimp, all right. Oh, Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I like a, I like a big shrimp. shrimp, too, sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a little shrimp dick. Uh, but even, like, tonight, like, she made uh, instant mashed potatoes for Cameron because she knows. I love instant mashed she potatoes. She knows. He's like, fuck the broccoli. Like, fuck this. So well, she I'm, took I'm, I'm some fu- salmon and tried to shred it up and stick oh, it he went in the it. mashed potatoes. Oh, he's, he's like, like a dog. Fish. He ate around like, it. No, nah, I'm not eating it. He's like, nope. I don't want it. Good like, for him. Like, like my yeah. brother always called them fake potatoes. I'm like, no, instant potatoes are real potatoes. They're not. Yeah, they are. It's fucking, it's the same stuff they put on an oil spill. Kitty litter? Yes. <laughs> no. It, it's, it's just dried out potato. I love, I don't like lumps in my potatoes. Oh, I like the crunch. I like yeah. both. I like the lumps in there. I like both. I, I like grew up, I grew up on the instant potatoes, but I do like Instant potatoes real, reminds me of Golden Corral. A real Corral. smashed like, potato. Real. Those are the best. I like both. <laughs> I can't. Uh, it's, there's no debate want, for me. Fun on that. fact it's is, I want the potato skins in there too. Fun, man. no. Yes. Fun fact is, that's I, fine too for yeah. me. Every year for Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner, I'm the potato guy. All of a sudden, like for some reason, I'm the. All right, Ross, bring mashed potatoes. I'm like, fuck, I don't know how to make that shit. So I Google it every <laughs> year. <laughs> so in years past, I would Google how to make mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, my God. I'd make them creamy as shit. This year, <laughs> creamy as shit. <laughs> this year, I didn't make them. I, I bought the. The Bob Evans. Oh, yeah. Bob Evans are good. Tubs. It's got right. the pot pepper in yes. and everything in them. Yes. So I bought like three of them bitches, put them in a uh, tin, <laughs> cooked them up. They got a little lump in them. My brother's sitting there eating them. Like, those are good fucking potatoes. Like, yeah, man, you did a good job. <laughs> I'm like, 
I'm like, yeah, they're good potatoes. Bob so, yeah, Evans. Mike. I didn't make them. They're fucking instant. It's like, what? I'm like, yeah. They're pre-made fucking potatoes. Eat them. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm like, you scared the hell out of me. I'm like, they're good, aren't they? He's like, yeah, they're pretty good. I'm like, I didn't fucking make them. They're instant. They're pre-made. He was like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, yeah. 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 Because <laughs> he's, he's all about them fucking, not them fake potatoes. Not them pre-made shit. Yeah, right. them, them Bob Evans, we used to have those at the house. That's where I learned about Jar Gravy. I oh, grew man. up on that shit. Pack of Bob gravy. Evans potatoes. But even some, the Bob Evans <laughs> with mac some and cheese is pretty solid, yeah, too, man. man. Like, that shit was uh, – Stouffer's. Stouffer's ain't bad either. Yeah, the Stouffer's lasagna. Yeah. That fuck, one's pretty man. good. Hey, I still eat that one, the, the, the lasagna. I haven't had a frozen dinner in a long time. Me neither. Mm. You haven't had a Michelinas or a Hunger Man's <laughs> anytime soon? Um, <laughs> I have not. And uh, what was the other one I was just thinking about? Fuck. Oh, what's kids the kids' cuisine, one? Kids' the cuisine. Kids cuisine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to eat the piss out of those because I oh, wouldn't yeah. eat what my mom and dad was eating. Oh, but the Hot Pockets. I haven't had a Hot Pocket in you forever. Had a Marie, you ever had a Marie to... Calendars, man? <laughs> Marie <laughs> Calendars. <laughs> or Stouffer's? <laughs> uh, Stouffer's were pretty serious. Oh, Stouffer's lasagna. Uh, what's that other one that's uh, Lean Cuisine? Uh, Lean said Cuisine. That yeah. 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 Danielle gets yeah. those every now and then. Really? <laughs> For lunch. She used to. Is that what you call your wiener? <laughs> <laughs> The lean cuisine. <laughs> 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 it's just popcorn the shrimp. Amount. It's yeah. the perfect amount, man. <laughs> it's the popcorn shrimp. I call mine the hunger man. Uh, <laughs> that was a pretty solid joke, Ross. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, thanks. I appreciate it. That was really big of you. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll Small be the, of you, I'll be the bigger man, though. Yep. Yeah. You know, I call him my hamburger helper. Oh, uh, <laughs> stroking off. My uh, beef stroking. <laughs> <laughs> I had burger helper in a while, man. Call it tuna helper. I haven't, I haven't had. It. Well, we've had hamburger helper, but it's not hamburger helper. It's right. her organic version of it. Fuck. The fuck you know, what, what, she put wheat noodles in it? She gets her special noodles, special fuck, gravy. Y'all are going to have what cancer, man. What has happened to y'all, man? Yeah. It's not that. It's actually not bad. I like that hamburger. Get out of here. I I like her stroking off. <laughs> <laughs> I like her stroking off. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> chowder. Uh, I watch her stroking off it. You watch her. Yeah, I watch her. You don't participate. Yeah. You don't participate. I, I enjoy. It. I eat the shit out of. He that. supplies the beef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hundred percent, and the noodle. Uh, <laughs> the white noodle. Uh, <laughs> that's just fucking good, man. You got a fucking home, You like got a it. homegrown cow. And fucking, she mixes it all Don't up with good Don't talk about in- her like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good ingredients. She's not a cow. She can be. You called her a homegrown cow. Wait till she hears this dis- episode. Dis- uh, disrespecting your wife. Fucking heifer. <laughs> 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 Jesus. But that shit's good, though. <laughs> There's a reason why she's a cow. He calls her babe. <laughs> <laughs> because of the pig. <laughs> oh, was it a Disney movie? Babe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and there was Gordy hey, babe. and Babe. She doesn't yeah. know I'm calling her babe because she's my wife. No, I'm calling her pig. <laughs> babe because oh. she's a fucking pig. <laughs> oh, my God. You might as well say tonight it's Charlotte's Web because you're, Web. you're getting slaughtered. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a spider, man. Well, but there's a pig yeah, in there. There's, there's, there's a pig in there. There's a pig that's yes. friends with the spider. Uh, yeah, Wilbur. Yes. Wilbur. Hey, Wilbur. <laughs> I'm calling you Bambi's mom because I'm shooting you. <laughs> oh, my God. That to put you down. That's messed up, man. Oh, I found out that uh, if someone says something about uh, Lady and the Tramp when you're with your buddy, <laughs> I'm the tramp. I, what? <laughs> I'm not the lady. Well, no, first you said you were not the tramp. Well, because I'm that's, not the tramp. I'm not the tramp. I'm not a tramp. And, and then, then they I'm said, like, well, who's the lady? Okay, I'm oh, the tramp. Oh, yeah, I'm the tramp. <laughs> We're making a joke so about it. So you and Mike are doing the whole spaghetti noodle thing? Like well, we, we, we share meals. We share yeah, lunch, so we get shit for it. It's super gay. So <laughs> no, we got super some smart. shit about it, and they're saying, oh, you're going to lady then tramp it. And I'm like, yeah. well, I didn't. I wasn't thinking right. And now I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, it means I ain't no tramp. You're I'm both like, eating the same spaghetti noodle, and at the end you're kissing. Yeah, but I it's was a hot like, dog, I'm, okay? I'm not a tramp. Oh, man. I'm not a corn tramp. dog. And we had a chimichanga. Well, not oh, man. You uh, laid in a tramp with a chimichanga? <laughs> chimichanga. Y'all cut a chimichanga in the half and split it? <laughs> we no, did we not. should have. We oh, should have. I was about to say, if y'all did we that, should we should have. That's the one meal we should have split. That's the one meal we should have split. You don't split a that fucking burrito. A well, like today. I know. I get them all the time. The uh, super chimichanga slathered in queso. Today we Today we shared a brisket sandwich and freedom fries. Perfect amount. Yes. And a brownie. And a brownie, yeah. 
No, for y'all, it's feminine fries. Because y'all are little bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I like the feminine fries. fries. Feminine fries. All right, feminine little fries. bitches. <laughs> them things are seasoned just right, though. My God, you wouldn't understand, Ross. I know, I don't understand. Yeah. The cool part about it is if I get sick, so does he. Yeah. Because <laughs> hey, we literally did, ate the same thing. Did that thing. lunch <laughs> fuck you up? Nah, man, I'm good. Okay, uh, then it wasn't me, the lunch it's then, yeah. Me, it's something going out, something else. It's your weak guts. I didn't get food poisoning. Yeah, I used to use that uh, for an excuse to go home at lunch, but now that he eats the same thing and our boss knows it, he's like, well, how come he's okay? I don't know, man. <laughs> well, how about you just wait for poopy shoes to get out of the stall and you go shit in the bathroom? Oh, well, poopy <laughs> shoes ain't been there in a minute. No? He's been gone. I don't, think, I don't think I've seen him in no? forever. Yeah, no. His uh, his contract was up. You haven't seen his New Balances or uh, New uh, Newbie stall? poopy. Yeah. I also Newbie haven't poopy. seen Shotgun Leg. Who? What? <laughs> Who the fuck is shotgun, shotgun leg? leg? You don't know shotgun leg? I don't leg? know shotgun leg. You oh, don't know guy. shotgun leg? No. <laughs> shotgun leg. I did. Let's hear it. This guy, I swear, he wears some like baggy, <laughs> baggy slacks. But the way he walks is as if he had a gun strapped to his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen shotgun leg. I don't know. Oh, so, one, so one don't leg. Know. So one leg, one the leg knee straight, doesn't bend? One leg, he... It he looks, just drags it? It looks like there's something strapped to his leg. Well, maybe he has a prosthetic leg, John. You're fucking making maybe, fun of his disability. Maybe. But he looks like someone that would strap a shotgun to his leg. You ever think maybe... Wait, he, doesn't make eye con- he doesn't make eye contact with his co-workers? Yeah, very, very he, so, he, he, so might, he may have elephantitis of the dick yeah. and has a fucking ratchet strap it's around it. That makes hard sense. Leg. That makes sense. Either way, you can call it a shotgun. got a bungee cord strapped around it. That's a shotgun, bro. He has to drop his trowel... His pants all the way down to his ankles when he pisses. No, the guy looked he like lifts he lifts his leg to pee yeah. out of his ankle. He looked like a shooter. I haven't seen him in forever. So shooter. he's probably not there. But shooter. Shotgun leg, he's, man. He's I right in his manifesto. Seen, I've, ne- I've never heard of anybody referred to a shotgun He's leg. taking time off to write his I'm manifesto. very aware of my surroundings. So you came up with this name and nobody else knows this person by shotgun leg? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't that's, know. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> you sound like this was a known thing. You ain't seen Shotgun Leg? You don't know who Shotgun Leg is? Well, if you don't disclose to anybody who the fuck Shotgun Leg is, no. I don't know. Next week, y- y'all going to be walking down the hallway, and John's like, hey, that's Shotgun Leg. <laughs> Calls it out loud. <laughs> My name's Larry. He's going to be like, what? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> My name's Phil. <laughs> like... Fuck. No, your shotgun leg, man. Yeah, man. Like, I, I thought you had a shotgun strapped to your leg. And you'd be like, no, it's my dick. Mm. <laughs> my lord. Whoops. Whoops. Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you find that one, son? <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you've been looking at my dick. <laughs> yeah, well, if you just walk by, don't even say shotgun leg, just go. Cannon, I will know who you're talking about. Like, all right, there he goes. Mm, 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 I gotta tell you guys, mm, this D is good. <laughs> you would like it, huh? I think I like it. <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> the Sunny D. I'm talking about the Sunny yeah, D. Oh. The Sunny D uh, vodka drinks. Yeah, you don't know unless you try it. I guess they actually got flavor rather than the fucking high news <laughs> that tastes like fucking. That's great. They took a kid's drink and put alcohol in Dude. it. Dude. Just wait until they come out with the Hawaiian Punch ones. Oh, or the High C or something, yeah. Yeah. The fucking Capri Suns. Hawaiian Hunch Punch. Oh, yes. Oh, Hunch Punch, dude. Or the the High high C. Oh, yeah, that's the shit that gets you fucking... They make the Capri Sun style ones, but I can't find them. Really? Big Machine. Big Machine. You know, Parker Kligerman or NASCAR? Yeah, yeah, they got a record label, right? No. Not that big machine? It's a vodka company. Is it oh, I thought it was they, a record label. No, they literally machine. make like... Uh, drink, drink. Anybody need a drink? Sure. All right. I'll look them up. They literally make like uh, uh, Capri Sun style vodka drink, drinks. Drink. A Capri Sun? Yeah. A Capri Sun? Ha- uh, I've no, never big seen machine. that. Big machine. So they're actually targeting children's drinks to try to get a younger audience. Oh, they do make a... Or, I don't know if it's the same. That's some um, Kool-Aid's. Big Machine Vodka. What? Spiked coolers. Oh, yeah. I've seen those things. But I can't find yeah. them. Well, they're they're usually on the end of the aisle, like over by the ice bags. They're in Where? a weird spot. On the end of the aisle by Where? the ice what bags. Store? Like at Publix or something. Because Walmart <laughs> says they, cover, they carry them. 
But it must be in the liquor store at Walmart, not the actual Probably. Walmart store. Yeah. And the 7-Eleven by the Applebee's says they carry them. I literally drove all the way to that 7-Eleven by Applebee's and couldn't find them. Literally fucking vodka drink, uh, oh, Capri Suns. Tropical. Um, I want no part of that. You're literally drinking... That's been in my fridge in forever. For forever. Really? Yes. <laughs> no way. What's the born on date? Hmm. 1999. I don't see it. Yeah, it's been in my fridge forever. Why has it been in your fridge forever and not drunk? Because John it? brings drinks all the time. Leaves half of them here, but brings new drinks to follow. Don't taste August eighteenth of twenty two. Do you bring or you bring that? Is that is that seriously what it says? Eighteen August twenty two. Oh, there is. Yes. A date. Oh Lord. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. John brings drinks. Oh, this one says eleven April twenty four. Okay. Because like, why does this one say twenty two? That John, like John has his own half of the top shelf of my. That one is thing. a 22. Yeah, but yeah this fuck one. you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking try to get me. That one's 24. That one's 24. You're trying to get me. I'll toss this one and I'll get you another one. I'll look at the next day. Yeah, John has like a, <laughs> okay. John has a that shelf. One, <laughs> that one's okay. That one's not okay. Fucking John 22. A, this one is a I'll fuck your world. <laughs> yeah. No. John, John brings a, drinks. And then he'll drink like two of them and leave the other four in the fridge. Yeah. And then next week he brings more and never touches what he left in the fridge. Well, my gut intuition said, do not open this. Yeah. Do not open this. And I I'm think, glad I listened. I think he still has bush. No, he doesn't have bush lights up there anymore. He has like eight drinks up there that really? he's been, he's, he just keeps adding to. He never drinks them. Hmm. Other he than drinks that- what he brought this week and leaves what he brought the weeks past in there. Yeah. And I don't drink them. <laughs> he said, oh, God, he must have found one yeah. order. <laughs> as, a, as a good friend, I leave his stuff untouched. I don't drink his stuff. As a good friend, he should have took the old beer. But. Yeah. January, yeah, you're good with that one. No, it's February. J- January was yesterday. You're good. No, <laughs> yesterday I was good. Today I'm not. It's a, no, you drink the 2024 one. This is a January 24. Oh, no. the uh, Yeah, those are good. <laughs> no, those are from your bachelor thing. Oh. Yeah, the next morning I found Dude, a, that was like three months ago. Yeah, the next morning I found an unopened 24 pack of Coors Light in my the back of my truck. So Mountains are blue. Yeah, yeah, the the other Mick Ultras are 22s. We'll throw them away. I was but, gonna dump wow. them out, but yeah, I, didn't I think wanna... Justin brought those, but we never opened them. Remember when this is what we drank was Coors Light, right? To me, it's sweet oh my now. God. It's not that great. No, it's no. not. I don't really care for beer anymore. I don't either. I know. I drink. I drink the bush light. I can still me, drink it every to me, now and then. Light t- it tastes a little sweeter. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. I don't know. We drank a lot of this in college too. I drank a lot, and I drank that until I found out bush light was half the price. And same alcohol level. I just don't care. You know, I'll drink a little bit of everything, but uh, I don't. I'd rather t- drink. I'd rather drink. Yeah, this you drink stuff. your seltzers. These things are fucking good, and they're mm-hmm. uh, fucking vodka. It's not a seltzer. It's vodka soda. It's all yeah, vodka seltzer. Yeah, yeah it's I'm the same shit. Except you got sunny D and I got fruit yeah, juice. But you say it's not a seltzer, it's a soda. No, it's a vodka seltzer. This ain't salsa. salsa. No, but this doesn't say this is vodka and soda. Vodka. Yeah, that is a seltzer. Seltzer is soda. No, seltzer soda and soda water. is different. You're it different. is different. Seltzer water and soda look water is different. Look yes. it up. Soda and seltzer no, is different. Seltzer up. water. You look it up. Seltzer water versus soda water. They're That's different. That's the debate. That's the I'm soda all day. Seltzer's got too much bubbles. Oh, dude, these big machines are fine. <laughs> Seltzer will get a dude, stain big, out of your shirt. These big soda machines water. have more alcohol in them than your R things here. Well, yeah, because they're, yeah. They're the same yeah. thing. They're vodkas. The vodkas. Vodkas. These are 5'9". These are 4 something. That's a headache in a pouch. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound the, the concern in your voice right there. You're oh, like, God. Wait a minute. Is 20 that's for head- one pouch? No. 20 no. bucks? There's eight of them. Oh. Mm. Okay. John's like, that's that's headaches in a pouch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's oh, right. The concern in his voice. Uh, I feel it. I feel the <laughs> oh, headache. Man. Yeah, like, oh, that one's sound good, man. Uh, Pain. Uh, that's like malt liquor in a pouch. Malt like, liquor, pretty much. yes. Like a fucking Ford Loco type. Oh, oh god dang. Oh, that just like. Those were gross. They I've were, had, I they had were a terrible. Half, I had like a sip of one, and that was it. I'm like, nope, not like, drinking these. We, on Thursday nights, it was called Thirsty Thursday in college because we didn't have school on Friday if you're in the business school. So our Friday was Thursday. And 
that was always the game was we got four locos and to see who could actually finish theirs without throwing up. We done the four loco challenge a couple times. Mm -hmm. One time, I think we were like on three, maybe oh. four, and I About was leaning, I was leaning on a wall ready to One go. One four loco would fuck you. Yeah, I would be fucked. And then uh, we did uh, Call of Duty nights. I'd be fucked. Yeah, Call of Duty nights. <laughs> And zombies. we would sit there and drink those while we are playing Call of Duty, oh. the zombies. And, like, it would you'd just oh. be fucking, fucking wrecked. Yeah, no, that's terrible. Just, like, even thinking about it gives me a headache. Between the Four Locos and Bush Light. Because on the Call of Duty nights, we would start off with Four Locos, and then we'd mix up, get into the Bush Light, and then every now and then we'd grab another one. And yeah. then, oh, so it was, it's not the best idea. No, it's really it, not. But, yeah, yeah, fucking talk about paying for it. Oh, yeah, it was rough. Just the dumb shit we do, uh, man. The Just the amount shit. of alcohol I drink. Dumb it's like shit. no wonder my stomach's fucked up. No like, wonder why your brain's pickled. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 it's floating around up there in hops. I think it's doing pretty good, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's Compared to some of the people in this flying, world, I think I'm doing good. It's flying high, man. It's flying, flying high, not afraid yeah, of that. Yeah, man. I feel like in John's brain, he's got that song playing at like at a department store. It's like, fly like, like an eagle, eagle through the storm. Wanna fly like an eagle right into John likes corn. Like <laughs> Y'all are singing that, and then the first thing that pops into my mind was Lenny Kravitz's uh, American Woman. American Woman! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I wanna fly. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have been listening yeah, to some Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to some Lenny Kravitz Dude. lately. <laughs> my, fa my favorite Kravitz is his daughter. I have not seen Jimmy it. The Kravitz. Old, the old Zoe Kravitz. I've never uh, seen yeah, it. I don't think oh, I she, have. she can get it. She can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he had a daughter. Did oh, yeah. you know that his uh, like uncle or something, the old Al Roker guy on the the morning news? The, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot Travis of these pictures aren't all that flattering. Well, you gotta type in something to that make them not flattering. Bad, man. She's not bad. They're all Hollywood up. But uh, yeah, I've been I've been jamming some Lenny Kravitz a little bit. Little well, Kravitz. Yeah, no, I mix it up, man. Are... I had some Aerosmith. A little arrows. Don't wanna close my eyes. <laughs> I don't wanna fall asleep cause I'd miss you, baby. But yeah, I don't, don't wanna, wanna miss, miss a thing. thing. Even when your animal crackers are going up a leg. That was pretty hot. She yeah. went up and up and up lifestyle. Got a dimity dump to it up and dimity dump to my lifestyle. Yeah, we can't talk about that video. <laughs> oh, you got, you got the. Uh, <laughs> 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 the Armageddon, the animal crackers, yeah. And yeah. the Days of Thunder with like the sweet and low sweet packets. Sweet and low packets. And then where do you go, Cole? Me and Straight my buddy, to Victory Lane. <laughs> me and my buddy Stokes reenacted the animal cracker thing our senior year in high school on the because we had the. Uh, we were on the broadcast team, so we did the morning <laughs> broadcast. You know, did y'all have it in y'all's school where you had, yeah. like, the TV? Yeah, and, like, like a 10 minute news yeah, broadcast. Little, and we yeah. did a segment where it was the, the fucking Our, thing. And, and then the it zooms out, and it's fucking uh, me and Stokes. We're like, but when Stokes was doing it, it was on a girl. And, <laughs> but when they, when they pan out, it's like me and him are like, oh, no. <laughs> this is a fucking Catholic high school. <laughs> 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 oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I did yeah. A, in middle school I did uh I did the sports for a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. and I would take like, like Chris Berman's <laughs> top yeah. ten. I would I ed I edited that down and then yep. I asked a few questions on sports games and stuff, but So you threw a long touchdown pass, <laughs> how'd that make you feel? <laughs> it was, uh, great. Like, it was the worst probably. It was, like, I don't it, it was always well. seniors who did it. And when I was in high school. Like old people? Yes. <laughs> but, but my junior year you got seniors up on the team but my junior year first period there would be times where because my buddy my buddy bill uh 
was in the broadcasting class his senior year. So Bell like, in the broadcast booth. First period. And I think Tom did it, too. Like, Call him Triple B. We will leave our first period. Hey, we get, could we go use the bathroom? Next you know, you see us fucking walking across the camera in, in the morning broadcast. <laughs> we would go cut through there. And, oh, it was live? Mm-hmm. Oh, we, had li- we didn't have live. Yeah, ours was live. You turn your channel, uh, your TV to Channel 3, and it showed the in-school feed. You see Ross walking by D-Generation X. <laughs> yeah. Suck it! Yeah. 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 Suck it! Yeah. 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 That's when wrestling was good, man. Yeah. 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 Wrestling was like the uncensored, like, yep. oh, yeah. Almost rated R type shit. I haven't watched, like, yeah. wrestling, I haven't watched wrestling since, like, 2001-ish. <laughs> like, like, 90. Every Friday night, like. Like we usually watch Channel Thirteen, and after the news, like it'll just be on yeah. while we're doing something. And, like, and I remember, I remember, my dad like, watches terrible. that shit all the time. I remember, like in the mid nineties, like on Saturday afternoons. Oh yeah, it, that shit would be on TV. I remember watching Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Before he was like big, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm. Like on that shit, they like the pre-recorded stuff they would play on Saturday afternoons, like at three o'clock. Yeah, man. And then, yep. Oh, my dad was telling me about the long guy, and he was saying he came over or whatever. Is that a new wrestler? Uh, no. The long guy? And, uh, so he beats you with a fucking weed whacker. <laughs> he was telling me about the guy coming over, and that's, basically he didn't really need a whole lot done at his house, but he's like, yeah, you can clean up the stuff inside the cage. Like, And I was like, what is it, like a Royal Rumble or yeah. a fucking <laughs> Hell in the Cell? <laughs> hey, he's got some palm trees inside the pool, uh, yeah. the pool screen, uh, but he calls it a cage. A cage. <laughs> I'm like, what is it, Hell in yeah. the Cell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck. Oh, and he knows that, so, of course, he starts chuckling because he knows, he knows. Like, he called it a cage. I'm like, you've been watching too much wrestling, man. Uh, yeah, I, remember, uh, I remember watching the pay-per-view where Stone Cold Steve Austin was, neck. like, made. No, well, I remember. That's when I stopped watching when he when he what left. What do you mean, made? It was literally the Royal Rumble. Yeah. No, it wasn't the Royal Rumble. It was the uh, oh, what was it? He went from being the heel or the babyface. It to was the, the no, I can't remember what it was called. King of the Ring. King you know when they did like the tournament style pay per view, where it was like it started with, like sixteen guys and they sort of it was like a bracket style thing. Yeah. That was when he was made. That's when Stone Cold Steve Austin oh. became a household name. He wasn't supposed to win it, wow. but he ended up winning it because, uh, oh, what was it? I think it was The Rock. No, it wasn't The Rock. Triple H pissed off Vince McMahon, Oh. and Triple H was supposed to win it. And they're like, you know what? Uh, I found out he's banging his daughter then. They're like, it, they decided, because, re- spoiler alert, wrestling is scripted. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, it was, po- the, the bracket went down, um... Stone Cold Steve Austin won his match, and uh, Jake the Snake Robert won his match. Jake the Snake. So they were supposed to go in the finals, and in Stone Cold's semifinal fight, he got cut and actually had to go get stitches and all that. And while he was getting stitches, I guess Jake the Snake ran a promo on him. Hmm. And then when Stone Cold came back from getting the stitches, he ran a promo and all that, and that's when he took off. Because uh, I guess he said... Because Austin 316 yeah. just whipped your ass. Yes, yeah. because uh, uh, when he was getting stitches, he saw that Jake the Snake said something about, like, 316, like the Bible verse. And when Stone Cold won the match, he that's when he said for the first time, he's like, it just came off the top of my head. 316, well, Austin 316 just whipped your ass. And right then and there, mm-hmm. that's when... Uh, he that's when off. he was made. Yep. Yep. Remember, as 10 years old, my very first football game... My shirt that I wore underneath. Austin my 316. Yes, it was, yep. the, it was the Skull Austin 316. Man. It was I remember Lake Gibson bitching. Middle School. I had a shirt where it was Stone Cold Steve Austin on the top turnbuckle doing the middle fingers. <laughs> right. The dual middle fingers. I wore that bitch every day that it was clean. <laughs> I, I wore that, that bitch shirt. to Lake Gibson Middle oh, School. Yeah. Austin. <laughs> Austin with the two middle fingers yeah. up on the top. <laughs> I got a picture in my house, and it's actually my mom and dad. It was my first game, and I'm wearing that T-shirt afterwards. And I'm He was like, tapping her out. Huh? Oh, never mind. <laughs> your mom and your dad. Uh, he's stone cold stunning yeah. your mom. No. He, he had her in the razor's edge. <laughs> no. They were proud of me, man. It was my first game, and I'm sitting there 10 years old smiling yeah. with Austin. I didn't know what Austin 316 yep. right. right. I remember I had a. Uh, and then my parents figured out, oh my God, that means he just whipped their ass. Yeah. He's 10 years old. He don't even wear it. I remember I had the, the red and black NWO shirt, the red oh, and white yeah, NWO the wolf shirt. Pack. Yeah. Yep. I didn't have oh. all those. I never got into those. 
Uh, I remember I used to watch WCW and then uh, WWF. I watched both. Right after each other. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Good old times. Yep, my dad still does. Loser. <laughs> but he's Dad's not watching WCW anymore. It's, nope. uh, it's all one thing. Now. NXT yeah, and there's a... Uh, there's NXT? some ECW. Well, NXT is part of WWF or WWE. It's yeah, like their it's minor like, leagues. but it's still the, like yeah. a lot of those guys go back and forth. Yep. Nah, I was into the whole like uh, Kane and Undertaker thing. That like, was pretty. That cool. was yeah. cool. Like, they're oh brothers. shit, they're brothers. Yep. And then yeah, like it was fucking weird, but it was kind of yep. cool because they were huge, dude. The storylines yeah. and the characters aren't the same. When I watched uh, wrestling, everyone hated the Rock. Rock they can't was, be yeah. what they can't be what they were though. Yeah. Because of the time. Everybody's yeah, Goldust. His finishing moves is kicking someone in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, like everything. Mark Henry, sexual chocolate. It's his just, finishing move is putting his ass in your face. I couldn't keep up with Mick Foley. One week he was Cactus Jack, dude. Love. Well, Cactus Jack was, man, he was played uh, into his. Yeah. That played into his character. Cactus though. Jack was. And then he was Mick Japan. Foley. Yeah, Mick Foley. Well, that's his real. That's him. I know, but yeah. like he had so many stage names. Yeah. Mr. Shaco. That was lame. That the deal where he got slammed through the cage. Yep. And when Taker did that, that was not planned. Well, that's what he did. He when thought he, he fucking killed him. That's what he did. When <laughs> yeah, he, was, he well, literally did. That was his did. thing in, uh, when he was in Japan. When he was. Uh, oh yeah, he was into that hardcore shit. Was it? No, he, yeah, it was Cactus Jack is what he was when he was in Japan. Yeah, they didn't each other with barbed wire oh, and shit yeah. over Baseball there. Baseball bats with barbed wire. They didn't give a fuck shit. over there. Yeah, yep. get cut up and shit. Yep. To me, this is wild. Yeah, it's no. It's wild. No, it's I, fake, I watch... but it's fake, but it's not. Yeah. They're still getting hit in the head with yeah, chairs. They still well, break they're shit. still going through tables. Well, well I mean, that's, that's what's like cool. if you fall now. If you fell down, it's like, oh, you fell out of a chair, but you can still Dude, hurt yourself. Dude, I watch it in real life. Like when I watch a football game, when I see a guy get hit, I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, the NFL scripted, and I still feel no, those hits. It's not yes, scripted. Right? Yeah, what happened? I thought the, I thought the fucking Ravens in San Francisco were it's playing the Super Bowl. The, it's part of their it's plan. part of their plan. It they is. they changed the script to get Taylor Swift in there. Of course I'm, they did. I haven't watched a single. And second. it's about betting. They wanted everybody for the Ravens. To be oh the no, favorites. it's all about like fancy football and shit. But I haven't watched a single snap of football into, since the regular season. Ended. You haven't missed nothing. Well, once my team season ended, uh, that's why I stopped watching. Mine too. I yeah. still watched it, but I didn't watch all of it. No, nope. like I say, it's all professional sports are entertainment business. Sports entertainment. They're not sports. Like if you want to watch a sport, you need to go back to the amateur level. Like college football, unfortunately, is not even a sport anymore. No, because now these college fuckers football are getting, is ruined. Yes, it's ruined. That's why I think you see these guys retiring as head coaches because they have no control now. I think that's why Nick Saban. Yes, he has yeah. no control. Like, like all, like okay, I got me a, a five star recruit. But he's pissed off, so well, now say he's going to... Oklahoma gonna, wants to pay him $3 million. Right. He's right. Gone. Inter- it is the gone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, I think they I think yeah. they, they took the old I think, taint. like, Pat McAfee they said it. I think it was today. He was like, there's no more loyalty in, uh, oh, no. in college football. He was like, people like Michigan. People went to Michigan because, you know... Harbaugh. Well, oh, yeah, Harbaugh, but... Yeah. They went there because of the pedigree of Michigan, this yeah. and that, the loyalty. For Tom Brady I grew up too. in this state, this and that. Now it's all about, all right, well, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here. Because I can get here. another endorsement yep. deal, or they promised me playing time, whatever. Yep. But like you said, yeah, like schools offer you a scholarship, and like they're taking a chance on you. Yes, they're probably going to profit off of you if you turn out yes. big, but they're taking that chance. It's a gamble. And so, like, I, I, I don't like And, there's, being and, able and to they're like, oh, things. these kids don't, these schools make money off these kids. If you're going to these big universities on scholarship, these kids are doing fine. These I, kids are yeah. doing good. Oh, I can tell you from experience. Yes. Well, I went to a low level one and yes. I did just fine. I don't like the whole the I think there should be a cap on the amount of sponsorship they can be given or at least based on or right, here's the income that's brought in, then you you can only make this like so like my my thing is there's a there's no way unf- to regulate. It. There's an unfair advantage between schools that have certain people backing them. Oh it's yeah, unlimited. Right, like Oregon like has said, n- that, unlimited Nike. You know that prevents. People. My problem with it, it's all based off of football. Right. <sighs> so I don't have a problem with them being able to transfer. It's all based off of football. So when all these decisions are being made, like the fucking Pac-12 just like disappeared. Yeah. Well, right. okay, that, that also affected baseball, soccer, golf, swimming, and all that right. stuff. I think you like you you hear actual Football coaches come out. Football should be its own deal. Yeah, you, like Chip Kelly's come out and all that. He was like, "Yeah, it's great." 
It's like, what about all these other sports? Yeah. What about the, all these other student athletes who aren't making $4 million right. off of NIL stuff? Mm-hmm. Where they're coming here for school and to play sports, mm-hmm. and now they're, they're all they're affected They're taking the crap. amateurism out of yeah, the game. Well, yeah, it's no longer amateur. Right. That's the thing, and that's what was unique about college football that I enjoyed to watch because they're out there trying to prove themselves to they're get to They're playing for the right reasons. Stuff. Right. right. Yeah. Like now, like now you got to go back to the high school level to see it. To, to like okay they're playing to try to get somewhere to get on a scholarship. I can't remember who who it was. There, there was a big time like top ten draft pick who stayed in who's staying in college for a senior year. Like yeah, because he's making make, more than yeah, his rookie deal. Yeah. yeah, that's what they said. He's like yeah, he'll make five million dollars staying one more year in college. Is that the USC quarterback? No, he's no. in the NFL draft. But yeah, yeah. Well, I was like last year though. But hell yeah. yeah, you might as well because like most rookies, when they go in, they struggle their first year yeah. in, in NFL. Like it's a, usually a rough year for the majority of them. Yep. But hell yeah, like if you're balling out and your team's got a shot at a national championship and like you could be the stud for another year, like live that glory because some yep. some college players don't pan out in the NFL. They just like, you know, it's a different game. Like their game doesn't translate to the next level. So stay like you know and soak up. Be a kid. Seriously, that's my best enjoy. advice. Yeah, enjoy your life. Like, I got out of college early. I, I was, like, in this fucking mode of... Oh, I didn't go I to got, college. I went straight to adulthood. Yeah. But, like, I could have stayed for five years total. I finished in three and a half and left a year and a half on the table. Got my degree, but I look back at it now. I'm like, why was I in such a hurry to get out in the real world to make money? Oh, yeah. I should have fucking stayed, enjoyed it, had fun, not took life so fucking serious. Just, like... Well, well, so the, wa- I, I the Washington know. quarterback, I didn't know. who's the, like Penix, the Washington yeah, quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, like forty-five. He's like twenty-four years old. Yeah, he's old as shit. Yeah, they're talking about his draft capital. Between, is shit. I guess he had like multiple knee injuries, yeah. so he kept on getting yeah. extra years. Uh, that dude's fucking ha- almost our age, and is still if in I could do it again, I'd ban Wilder. It. Yes, yeah, I'd be I'd there go as for long as I fifteen years could. and not be a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> you went to school. You were in school for eight years. Were you a doctor? Nope. Nope. We need to end University this thing, studies. I just majored in like five things. It's dun, almost dun, 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 it's dun, dun, eleven o'clock. It's almost eleven o'clock. I want to end this thing. There's no way. Dun 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 Maybe our audio guy get his shit together. All right, see y'all next week. Maybe. Bye.